Well, one of the broad investing themes of 2009 was a record rally in corporate bonds. Borrowing costs have fallen to near five-year lows. Great news for corporations with almost $429 billion of debt maturing this year. But is the run in corporate debt over? Joining us now with his 2010 forecast on where to get the best returns in the space, Derek Brown, Director of Fixed Income for Transamerica with $16 billion in assets under management. And his funds, by the way, have beaten 87% of its peers. Also joining us here on set, our Marcus Desk reporter and bond specialist, Brian Luke. Gentlemen, great to have you both. Thank you, Laurie. My pleasure. So Derek, set the stage for us. What's your outlook for corporates in the new year? Well, I think, you know, there's no doubt that 2009 was a tremendous year for corporate bonds with investment grade up over 15 percent and high yield up over 50 percent. And we think we're uh, right around the seventh inning of the corporate bond market rally and that there are selective areas within the corporate universe to, uh, to find value. Well, yeah, Derek, let me ask you, you're sitting in the seventh inning, you know, what's going to be the first major sign to go to in terms of to take away that risk? You were obviously right last year putting the risk in, in heavily. So what was the, what's going to be the first sign? Right. I think the biggest risk to the market right now is that if we get a, a series of, of perpetually strong data over the next couple of months that, that re-engages the Fed uh, and would bring them in to remove their, their accommodative uh, stance uh, earlier than anticipated, I think that would be the biggest risk to corporate bonds uh, and risky assets of all types. Okay, so if you're talking about you know the Fed coming in and intervening, obviously that's going to push up Treasury yields. You know that's going to be a, the right. Treasuries have been on a 30-year bull run. So could this begin be the beginning of a bear market for Treasuries? I mean, we had a terrible year last year in Treasuries, great in corporates, but you know what about 2010? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of our core positions over the past uh, year to year and a half has been uh, a, sh a short duration across all of our portfolios. We think that uh, you know, given the amount of Treasury supply that we anticipate. Uh, going forward, last year we saw a record net supply of treasuries about 1.8 trillion, which is four times the previous record. Uh, and and going forward, we're seeing you know one trillion plus net supply in treasuries uh, every year going forward, as far as the eye can see. So uh, with rates down at these depressed levels, I, I think treasuries are probably one of the more dangerous places to be in fixed income right now. So therefore, you like corporates for the best investments, best value. How do you give us a lesson here on how you judge the spreads? Sure. Um, yeah, you know, there, there are really three stages to a corporate bond rally. I think we've seen the first two. Uh, earlier in, in 2009, you saw the real on the run, higher quality liquid names lead the rally. The second stage of the rally was slightly lower quality companies uh, and, and less liquid names. And now I think we're really in the middle of, of this third stage of the rally where, uh, where, you're, where you're seeing uh, triple B rated and even double B rated industrial companies that may not be that liquid uh, uh, still poised to outperform. And, and it's those types of names that, that we see value in. One name that is relatively common is Petrobras, which is a, the Brazilian national uh, oil company, which, uh, you know, we're seeing yields at, at five and a half plus percent in the 10 year space. And, and uh, you know, relative to what we're seeing in, uh, among higher quality names, that uh, uh, that's definitely uh, represents value for us. Okay, Derek, you're going globally here. Let's talk about some of the sovereign credit yep. risk here. I mean, a lot of Iceland got downgraded today, I believe, by Fitch. There's a lot of issues right. going on in Europe. Is that a, a big theme to go and in, going forward? Could the, all the risk be in the sovereign credits? I think that's a big theme going forward because you're you're looking at net to GDP uh, ratios that you know that we project to be growing pretty significantly over the next uh, you know three to five years going forward uh, and and you know the U.S. is one area where uh, you know where net debt to GDP is is clearly on the rise and uh, and and I would say you know while there's not a whole lot of credit risk you know we're, we're sure we're going to get our money back with Treasuries but uh, in terms of buying something that you don't want to lose money on I would stay away from the 30-year Treasury bond. We'll leave it there. Derek Brown, Trans American Investment Management, and Bloomberg's own Brian Luke. Thanks again, gentlemen.